Hello everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Um, what a year it's been. <laughs> this is Tammy at Tater Tots. And we got a little bit of everything today. So let's do D's Whatever I Want Monday at the Baby Patch. And let's everyone remember Gilly and wish him well in his retirement. Today, Renee, um, for Toddler Tuesday, said to bring on um, flowers for summer or your summer floral collars. So we got a little bit of both going on here with Miss Campbell. This is my Campbell. She was done by Ina Hopman, and she's the Susu Sculpt by Natalie Blick. She's got on a little cotton romper. It's in lavender, which is one of my favorite colors. And it's Peter Rabbit, and it has little flowers scattered all over it. So we kind of hit both, um, both of the themes for the day, plus her little Barrette is a flower. It's lavender with a little yellow bow on it. And I love yellow and lavender. A lot of times that's what I decorate my mom's face with at the cemetery. Hey, do you guys like gummies? I love gummies. I absolutely love gummies. I like the worms better than I do the bears. The bears get too tough. But if you like gummies, these are the best. I used to go to Big Lots and get the big bag because they were like a lot cheaper than the grocery. But, you know, I got away from them and I thought this is a bad habit. So I treated myself this week at the grocery. This is a seven and a half ounce bag <laughs> and it's already gone. I'm bad. Oh, and I wanted to show you this real quick. I got this from Tamu and I've not got a picture frame yet. We're still a work in progress around the house. Um... Jeff's mulching today outside. I think this is the last time we're going to have Sherry back. Um, but we need to do some touch-up paint in the house, and we still have to clean the wood trim. So other than that, I think we've about got things done. But I need to get a frame for this. Like I said, it come from Tamu, and it's canvas. And it's got sunflowers on it. And it's surrounded by your glory. What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus, or in awe of you, be still? I love this song. It's definitely one of my favorite songs. So get a frame for this, and it goes up on the wall in here in the nursery. I am having so much trouble with my billing. You guys know I do home health care, and I've been doing it since 07, I believe. There's been... So many hiccups in it. Um, so many times I would have liked to have just walked away. I'm an independent provider, so I don't get a lot of help. Thank goodness I do have PCG, and Sand Data has been pretty helpful. Um, Change Healthcare was always helpful. But in January, there was a major cyber attack against Change Healthcare, and that's where I was doing billing from. So it was just automatically shut down. It's still not back up. They are working on it. Hold on, guys. I think I knocked the camera. But long story short, even for my billing now, my money that I get um, since, well, February has been crazy. And um, temporarily, I had to go with a billing company because I can't even get in to change health care. And the company they have now does not send any notifications that you've been paid or what you've been paid for. And I'm anal. I do three shifts a day, seven days a week. And I have a notebook. I write down every shift. Long story short, I always have gotten like, I think they call it an EOM, but you know, the paper that has a printout of every shift, every day, every date, shows exactly what you're paid for. If anything has not been paid, um, your spin down patient liability, um, it shows everything. And we're not getting that now. So 
I am fighting. I've been fighting. Of course, Echo says call. Etna, Etna says call. Echo, change healthcare is no help because they're working on their cyber attack issues. And my billing company, they know there's a problem. It's a nightmare for everybody. So I just reached out to PCG, which is um, who does our audits and stuff. And I was on the I was on hold for 15 minutes and finally got somebody in the right department and we got cut off. You know, when you work three shifts a day, seven days a week, you don't have a lot of extra time. That's what I said, guys. It, YouTube's hard for me. It really is. Um, I really and truly try to keep up. I'm to the point right now I'm so frustrated and my hand hurts and I can't find an orthopedic that takes my insurance and... Yes, I'd like a little wine with my cheese, please, or cheese with my wine or whatever, but wow, wow, wow. It's just, it, things are starting to get to me, and I may have to take a little break again for a while, so if I don't comment on all your videos, please understand there's just a lot going on in my life right now. With that, I thought I would read a little devotional because I definitely can use it today. And then I'm going to let everyone go on for their day, and I'm going to call PCG back. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. Sing praise to the Lord, you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Guys, that is Psalm Chapter 30, verses 4 and 5. Morning joy will come. It's significant that David opened this psalm with thanks to God. The Lord gave David victory over his enemies, blessed him with needed healing, and protected his life. With those details in mind, look again at what David wrote in the verses above. Praise may not have been on David's lips during the battle, the disease, or the life-threatening circumstances, but David can indeed praise God now for his deliverance and grace. We need to remember what God has done in our lives, especially when, in dark, difficult times, he seems far away and deaf to our prayers. May we be grateful for the ability to remember God's goodness and grateful for his willingness to be involved in our life. Both facts about God enable us to believe what David proclaimed. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. God wants us to remember in the hard times to know joy as we trust him in the hard times. Oh, to know joy as we remember his hand in our life in the past and to be confident that we will experience renewed joy when morning comes. I needed that, guys. I needed that. Um, I hope it helped some of you, too. There will be a box opening later this week. Um, I'm looking. There's a tiny bit of pink in this. It's more purple, but we can cheat and say it's pink. And also... It's casual, so I'm going to go with casual uh, casual fun Friday, and that's Kitty and Toddy over at Little Waddle Nursery. The pink, there actually is pink. This little flower right here has got pink in it, and that is for Shara over at Reborn Living Dolls. I'm cheating for the whole week because other than the box opening, guys, I'm probably not going to be around. I've just got too much that I have to take care of. It's to the point I have to get this fixed. And I need to find a doctor that will take my insurance. Um, my hand is hurting. I wear the brace a lot. I've got it off to raw right now. I don't know if you can see or not, but there's a vein that's all popped up here, and it hurts to even touch it. So, wow, wow, wow! Give me some wine with that cheese, or cheese with that wine, whatever. I don't. I can't think. <laughs> I hope you're all having a great day. Um, please know that I'm around, but I'm serious, guys. I've, I've got some hurdles 
and I know God's going to help me with them. I'm going to get through them, going to get over it. And this was kind of for Thankful Friday because you know what? I am so thankful that I've got God to lean on. I know he's going to help me in his time, not my time, in his time. And things are going to get straightened up. They're going to get fixed. I'm going to get paid. Oh, Lordy, guys. If it's not one thing, it's another. So, we'll see y'all later. Um, it is hot and very, very humid in Ohio. So, um, I'm sure it's that way in most of the country. Make sure you drink plenty of water and dress cool. See y'all later, guys. Bye.